Hello everyone, we've just finished the webinar, we had over 80 questions submitted and the most common theme was how to get into the GP sector. how to get into the GP sector, what skills and knowledge are required um, to get in. Uh, before we get into this, a little bit about us and the Academy. My name is Runa Salim. I'm a clinical pharmacist independent prescriber. I'm the clinical lead of Clinical Pharmacist Solutions and the training and development manager of Clinical Pharmacist Academy. This is Mahmoud, um, who also happens to be my husband. I know we don't share the same surname. Uh, we are married. I just kept my surname. Hi, my name is Mahmoud Yusupov. I'm also a clinical pharmacist, independent prescriber, uh, and the managing director of Clinical Pharmacist Solutions, uh, which provides services to GP surgeries using pharmacists uh, or pharmacist skills. We've been working in various GP surgeries for over three years uh, and have run clinics such as asthma, COPD, minor illness, etc. The academy stems from Clinical Pharmacist Solutions, uh, which employs pharmacists and places them in GP surgeries. We currently have pharmacists working for us. We've had the opportunity of uh, interviewing dozens of pharmacists and, and we know exactly what pharmacists need to transition from community or the hospital pharmacy into GP surgeries. And in the last six months, we've helped uh, over 20 pharmacists to get into GP surgeries using our level one and two training program. So um, our mission is to train pharmacists equip them with the necessary skills and knowledge so that they can practice competently and safely in GP surgeries. And we also help you to progress um, in your career in the GP surgery. Many of you have said that you aren't getting any responses uh, from the surgeries that you've contacted. And the facts are that um, you probably have little or no experience in training. Um, you may not know how to use their GP surgery system. Um, and one of their GPs might have to spend um, at least a full day with you before you can do anything, which takes a lot of time and, um, and they don't have that. Yeah, yeah. And, um, we, we, you know, we, we had 20, 30 pharmacists who have completed our level one, two training. Uh, and I would say more than 80% uh, of these pharmacists who completed this level one and two training program uh, secured a job in a GP surgery within a month. You don't need to be an independent prescriber to, to work in a GP surgery. It, and it's definitely easier to get a, a, a designated medical prescriber once you're in the GP surgery. And there is a myth that GP pharmacists do not earn much or, or they, they earn less. And I can tell you that with experience, you can work your way up to 45 pounds an hour. Yeah, exactly. So um, in the webinar earlier, we announced the launch of our level one and two online workshops. Um, so tickets for the CPD approved um, workshop are now live. And let me tell you exactly what you get. Um, so you get access to our online learning platform, uh, you get a full day interactive workshop. So using the latest technology, we're able to provide the workshop experience, which includes access to the GP surgery system from your home. Um, you also get a one week um, personal access to system one from your own laptop. After this workshop, you'll become far more valuable to the GP surgery because you'll be able to use their computer system, you'll be able to reauthorize medication because you now have the knowledge base for condition and medication monitor requirements. You'll be able to process clinic letters. Um, as we said, it's CPD approved, so you get a certificate and you earn 10 CPD hours. Um, you also get a template cover letter, um, which you can use for job applications. And this is um, essentially all you need to get started in a GP surgery. Places are limited to six per workshop because we want to keep it fully interactive. Um, so we know that many of you are keen to get into the GP sector. I hope this video helps. If you still have questions, you can always watch the webinar replay where we discuss things in a lot more detail. Um, and I think that that's all for now. So uh, bye for now. Take care and, yeah, and stay, stay safe. safe.